Who among us hasn't looked at pets and thought, what are they thinking? Or for that matter, are they thinking about anything at all? Well, a growing body of work is revealing how animals understand the world around them and how they problem solve, and also the complexity of their powers of communication and their ability to express emotion. Well, how has global warming affected the Inuit? Well, they're, they're, they're very much like the wildlife in, in the Arctic, they're, they are connected to the sea ice, just like the animals. It is one intact ecosystem. If we lose ice, we stand to lose this whole ecosystem. Between the sheep we lost, the calves we lost, every time that those wolves come in here and take $60,000 the first couple of years. This was an understandably big push by the environmental movement in the mid-90s to reintroduce wolves to Yellowstone National Park. It was something that caused a very big fight, and uh, it's something that some environmentalists have come to believe backfired for them very badly. Just a quick sort, uh, timeline to, to situate us. The wolves reintroduced in 96. By about 2002, the population had bounced back to somewhere around twice the initial target numbers. Well, there are some who say the wolves are fine. There are more than 1,600 currently in the northern Rockies, um, but it depends upon which biologist you're speaking to. Uh, in terms of the next animal, I think we're just going to have to wait and see. No matter what species it is, um, they'll let you know, they'll dictate how close you can be and how close. They'll actually approach you once they're relaxed enough, and that's when I do most of my photography. They recognize uh, the fact that you're not hostile to them, that you're not trying to kill them? Absolutely, and I, I think that what it comes down to is body language. They're giving me body language, and my body language is that I'm not aggressive and that I'm not scared. And when you're neither of those, it allows them to relax, and you actually have having a very relaxed encounter for them.